sturdy homes leveled, brick walls completely taken down to the foundation. Katie, I want to ask you first, how are people feeling? What's the pulse of the community? And what do the structures look like around you? Well, Michael, I think people are still in a state of shock and the buildings all over the place uh, look totally destroyed. This is the town that's seen the strongest tornado and felt the strongest tornado of the year so far. A hospital, a nursing home and several businesses, including the town's only grocery store, which used to be this building behind me. You can barely tell that this was a grocery store before. These are the spots that have taken direct hits from Saturday's tornado. Hey guys, I'm in uh, Washington, D.C., but I got to tell you, my heart's back in Oklahoma. Uh, I, I, uh, I feel blessed from being from the state always. I, I, I love the idea when I'm here, I get to go back to Oklahoma, and I feel sorry for those that don't understand what Oklahoma's like. You know, with this past weekend we had you know devastating storms that ripped through our communities and and we know it we felt it we see it and i'm constantly getting asked up here by my colleagues hey how y'all doing how y'all doing how y'all getting along and it's a sense of pride that i get to say hey guys we call this oklahoma standard uh, and what i mean by that it's it's that we show up in the time of need. We, we, we aren't just someone's going to sit back and wait for some disaster relief to show up from the federal government. We show up. The, the day that a, that a family's in need will be the day that your friends, your family, your school you went to, the church you go to, your, your place of employment is going to show up and, and be there for you. And we call it the Oklahoma Standard, and we're used to it, but it's not common. I can tell you now that I get out of the state all the time and I get to see the way other places are, man, you feel blessed from being from the state. It's something that you take some pride in. Yeah, it's awful what we're going through. Yes, it's communities and families that are, that are devastated by the storm. It's, it's, it breaks your heart. But it, it does build a sense of pride to know that our communities come together still yet. We still have that, that hometown feel and, and, and I, I, I take such a sense of pride in that. Now, I do want everybody to know that I'm truly praying for all those places that are impacted and the families that are impacted and the loved ones that lost, uh, the, the, or the families that lost loved ones. Uh, and I, I don't mean to just simply say I'm praying. There's sometimes people use that phrase as just a, a phrase to use. When I say that I'm praying, I sincerely, I sincerely mean that I'm praying. I'm praying specifically that, that the Lord shows His presence in your, in, your, in your life right now, in the communities that His light is shining down on you, where whatever is bad, the Lord can show his, uh, to be His glory to Him and give Him glory for it. That the, the families that have lost loved ones, that somehow there's a comfort, just a peace that comes over them, and just somehow you know the Lord's got this, that He's going to comfort you through this time of need. And, and while your heart's breaking, that the Lord's not ever going to forsake you. He's going to be there for you. He's going to carry you when you need it, and He's going to give you a hug when you need it. And, and guys, I, I, I mean that sincerely. There's, sometimes there's no other place to go but just fall on our knees and pray and say, Lord, help me. And He's always been faithful and true to me. Guys, thank you for letting me represent the great state of Oklahoma. It is, it is a tremendous point of pride for me. May God bless you. And as always, may God bless America.